Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, the Jonathan Smith era getting kicked off in East Lansing with FAU coming to town Friday night. I think this is a fascinating matchup where you look at FAU and say, Tom Herman, one, I like what he's doing at FAU, but I think more importantly, he is overturning this roster. 20 new, new players coming in through the transfer portal. You look at Michigan State, Jonathan Smith taking over. I think for my money, one of the most talented quarterbacks Michigan State has seen in a very long time, kind of taking over the offense. There is a lot of excitement around this Michigan State program. One of my best friends, a Michigan State fan, he is fired up for Friday night. Quite frankly, I am too. And I was very vocal all offseason long that, you know, I think Jonathan Smith is the perfect coach in East Lansing. And we're going to get kind of that first impression from Jonathan Smith Friday night. I want to get into you know, a few key matchups, how this game might go. What do we want to see from Jonathan Smith, from Aiden Childs at quarterback? Now, before we get into it, as always, one to the Michigan State fans, we would love to hear how you guys are feeling about this one in the comment section. What do you want to see from Aiden Childs? What do you want to see from Jonathan Smith? And if you got any game predictions, throw them down in the comment section. I'll give you mine at the end of the episode. And if you all do enjoy the content, Consider subscribing to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. I want to start with this Michigan State offense going up against an FAU defense that, you know, was pretty solid against the run last year, only allowing 3.8 yards per carry. That was 36 in the country, but a secondary that wasn't very good. I think if you're Jonathan Smith, if you're a Michigan State fan, if you're Aiden Childs, you're kind of excited to kick off the Aiden Childs, Jonathan Smith era with an FAU defense that gave up a lot in the back end last year. And I think when you look at FAU's defense, they're just going to give you stuff underneath, right? This was a secondary that allowed a 65% completion percentage last year. That was 115th in the country. Kind of one of those bend don't break defenses, right? We're going to give you the stuff underneath, try to take away the explosive play. I think what I'm most excited for is a couple of different things. Number one, can Aiden Childs be patient as a quarterback, right? Can Aiden Childs just take what FAU's giving you, march away down the football field, play disciplined football, and then go execute in the red zone? That's probably what you're looking for the most. But I think on the flip side, you look at these Michigan State wide receivers and say, what can they do in space, right? FAU is going to give you some of that short intermediate stuff. Can Aiden Childs make those throws consistently? And then can we get the Michigan State wide receivers to – create a little bit after the catch. I mean, this was a Michigan State offense that last year, 5.9 yards per pass attempt. That was dead last in the Big Ten. Really struggled to be explosive in the passing attack. There's two ways that you can manufacture explosive plays. One, pushing the ball down the field, which we all know Aiden Childs can do. You have a true freshman and wide receiver, Nick Marsh, who certainly can work vertically down the field. But you can also manufacture explosive plays by getting your playmakers in space, getting the football in their hands quickly, letting them work after the catch. And so I'm kind of interested to see the blend of Aiden Childs and what Jonathan Smith asks of Aiden Childs week one against FAU. And then I'll have my eyeballs on this Michigan State offensive line where you go four years down the road. I think you're going to be looking at a Michigan State program that under Jonathan Smith is built in the trenches, for lack of better terms. That being said, week one or year one, I guess. We might have some question marks about how good is this Michigan State offensive line going into 2024. Again, I think it's going to be really good in four years, maybe even two or three years. That being said, we might have some question marks. I know my Michigan State buddy certainly has some question marks on the offensive line. That'll be what I'm looking at. And I think the best thing you can do for a young quarterback like Aiden Childs is, hey, give him a good rushing attack. You have an extremely talented running back in Nate Carter. Can you give Aiden Childs a solid ground game that keeps you on schedule in front of the chains. Probably the best thing you can do for a young quarterback in Aiden Childs. Now flipping over to the defensive side of the football, this is an FAU team that wants to throw the football. 55% of their plays last year from the line of scrimmage were pass attempts, 21st in the country. Veteran quarterback and Cam Fancher coming in from Marshall. The way I look at this matchup is, one, I'm a massive fan of Joe Rossi. The Michigan State fans who've been rocking with the boys for a while know Joe Rossi is one of those defensive coordinators that I have a ton of respect for. Does Is this FAU team able to challenge Michigan State in the secondary where, you know, I look at this Michigan State secondary and said, hey, over the last couple of years, they've had the talent in the back end. I don't think the coaching staff was good enough, quite frankly. You add a 
defensive coordinator in Joe Rossi, who I think is one of the best in the business, especially working with defensive backs. You take a look at what he's done with Minnesota over the last couple of years. It's been very good. And I think he has the talent to have a good secondary. And then you look at FAU and say, we've got a transfer quarterback who was just named starter in camp six days ago. We have to replace our best wide receiver from last year and LeJonte Wester, who went for over 1,100 yards last year. My question is, does FAU have the difference makers to really separate and make plays on Michigan State down the football field? I don't know. We'll kind of find out Friday night. I think the second storyline here is, What's Michigan State's defensive line look like? And I'll say this, six months ago, I had some massive question marks about Michigan State and what they could be on the defensive line. You add Ben Roberts late in the transfer portal. You're hearing some buzz about some other guys stepping up in fall camp, but I'm feeling a little bit better. And again, kind of like we talked about the offensive line, I expect the defensive line for Michigan State to be much better come year two, year three, as Jonathan Smith you know, continues to build this program the right way. We had some question marks. That's probably still where your biggest question marks are because we look at the secondary, we look at the linebacker room and say, really, really solid. How good and deep is this defensive line going to be? That's probably the question that we want to look for. And I want to see the pass rush, right? We know FAU is going to want to throw the football. Can Michigan State impact the passer on those third and longs? Probably the bigger question I have for this Michigan State defense now Getting into the game prediction, the game pick, Aiden Childs gave us some advice, said take the over. I'm going to take Michigan State in the points, 13 and a half, inside of two touchdowns at home against an FAU team that, you know, is replacing a lot of bodies through the transfer portal. Look, Michigan State is too, but I think they have the talent advantage as well. I think they have the quarterback advantage. I think they have the coaching advantage with Jonathan Smith. And quite frankly, I like how this Michigan State team matches up against FAU where they're going to want to throw the football. They have a transfer quarterback, a lot of new faces in the wide receiver room going up against the Joe Rossi defense with the Michigan State secondary that I think is pretty dang talented. Give me Michigan State to cover the 13 and a half points Friday night. Fired up for the Jonathan Smith era. We'll cut it there again. Appreciate you guys rocking with it. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll talk to y'all later.